mourning their dead in the Gaza Strip. As Israel continues to bomb the territory for a third consecutive day, hitting targets across the area overnight and into Monday. It's bombed the crowded cities of Beit Lahia and Jabalia in the north and Rafah and Han Yunis in the south, with anger growing both at Israel and the regional players. Our homeland is the best. We seek no support from others, especially the despicable dog of Egypt, Mubarak. This is what's left of a house in Jabalia, where an Israeli strike killed five children of the same family. Seven of us were sleeping when all of a sudden all the walls came tumbling on us. They were all screaming. I told them all to call for murder them because we were all going to die tonight. And this is what used to be the Islamic University of Gaza. 30,000 students used to study here. But Israel says it was a Hamas site for making weapons and explosives. So it's bombed the university along with the government compound. And this is Rafah. Here, Israel has been attacking the supply tunnels out of Egypt because Hamas, it says, uses them to smuggle in weapons. But one of the strikes hit a residential area and at least two children were killed. Israel is still insisting it only wants to target Hamas. We are trying to make all the efforts in order to target uh, only uh, terrorists uh, and Hamas uh, headquarters and places. But unfortunately, in a war, like any war, sometimes uh, also a civilian pays the price. But that price has already been too high for Palestinians. Their medical sources say over 300 people have died. And the United Nations says 51 of the dead were civilians. The medics say Gaza's nine hospitals are overwhelmed, running out of the basics to treat the injured. We really were exhausted. We are bleeding over the last three days. Um, our uh, stores are about to deplete. Many are now desperate to leave. Israel says it wants to change realities on the ground once and for all. And it's prepared to do whatever it takes for however long it takes to achieve its goals. And the scale of the bombardment of Gaza so far proves Israel is sticking to its plan. Rosie Bragimova, Al Jazeera.